Megan, it's that special day again. This is your big brother, Tom, and a very, very special happy birthday to my little special little sister, Megan. I mean, it's just time flies so fast. It just seems like yesterday again that you're, you know, you're just that little, little, little rug rat cruising around the house with a crappy diaper falling off and Man, it's just, you know, time flies. It's amazing. But, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I just wanted to reach down and sincerely say happy, happy birthday to you. And, you know, you're, I mean, you're, you're, you're just, you know, you're my little sister and there's just no, there's just no getting around that. And I'm your big brother, you know, half brother, what, whatever it may be, but it, it, it is what it is. You know, we're always going to share the same daddy. Anyway, um, Happy birthday to you. I hope you are having a great, wonderful day and a nice celebration. So I just wanted to say happy birthday. Ah, psych, had you going. <laughs> 42 big ones, 42 big ones. Man, 42 years old? Jesus Christ, woman, you're pushing, you look like you're pushing 60 easy. My God, I mean, what are you gonna need, like a facelift every six months just to keep up with your stress level that makes you look like that? Good Lord, woman. <laughs> anyway, happy 42, Meg. I just had to make sure that I did call you on your birthday or make you this special video for your birthday. I mean, since you don't, I mean, you don't even call your dad on his birthday, you know, last month, two weeks ago. What, what are you, too busy shaving down your bunions? or taking a hacksaw to that hammer toe? I mean, come on, Jesus, five years now. No birthdays, no holidays, no hospitals. I mean, gosh, you don't even call your dad, wow. And you don't call me on my birthday, but you know what? I have feelings and that's why I make special videos just for you for your birthday. So happy birthday, you old hag. <laughs> And I got you, I, I got you the special cake, you know, but it's got about 62 candles on it because I do believe that the candles represent, you know, more like how the person actually looks and their age is what they really are. So, I mean, 42, I mean, I think 60 is more appropriate. So happy 60 candle birthday for you there, pumpkin. <laughs> oh, Anyway, I hope you have, I don't know, I don't know. When you look in the mirror and you realize that that's the only friend that you have is in that mirror, you know, you might start thinking about changing your ways, but I think it's just way too late at this point because, wow, you've done an amazing job. You've done such a good job going from having everything to what? <laughs> the most, oh, and I wore your favorite shirt too. This is, yeah, this is your favorite shirt, Boats and Hoes. One of the best movies ever made, by the way. Um, anyway, happy birthday. <laughs> Boat. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my new show called Bookmarks. That's right, Bookmarks. Let us begin this evening with a very special book where I hold my bookmarks. When I took a ticket for my place in line of 20 other men on the yacht, waiting for my 30 minutes that I paid $20 for, alone with the most amazing woman I've ever seen in my life. It was that moment when I was working my way down to the galley that I knew something special would happen and I would meet the woman of my dreams. It was just the most amazing experience of my life. And I knew she was the one when we walked down the plank from the yacht back onto the dock and the sunlight clearly shined through her bow legged legs and made a heart symbol shaded out in front of her on the concrete. It just touched my heart. It was just incredible. It was a truly a sign from God, from God in the heavens and I finally found my princess. Wow. Oh hell, that's just uh that's just a romance novel that I was uh that I was working on earlier. That's just nothing. That's yeah, it's not nothing. 
Let me go to the next one here. Okay. Before I knew it, I was happy again. I was playing pool in my underwear with my friends, drinking, having a good time, surrounded by gorgeous naked young women who were not 42, with a black, heartless, evil soul that just ripped my life apart and ruined everything I've ever known. Oh, that was a... That was a bad dream that I wrote down that I had. That's just, that's nothing. That's just nothing. Um, let's, let's go on here to the next one. Mm. I was once on top of the world. I had everything I could ever want except a wife. And when she came into my life, disguised as a demon reptile snake and drained my very soul from my body, took everything and left me with nothing rotting on the roadside like a dead vulture carcass that had been run over by a truck and rotting in the sun, bubbling. Oh, that's just uh, like a, that's another romance novel I was working on, kind of like, you know, it was, um, uh, yeah, I don't know, just, an, just another footnote I had here, but anyway, um, let's see. Oh, uh, here's another, here's another bookmark. Um, I woke up in a cold sweat, panicking, panicking when I looked over at my wife sleeping next to me. I was so terrified at her face. She looked just like her mother with no makeup on. And I screamed at the top of my lungs and the whole room was entire pitch black and things were flying around the room. I thought I was in bed with the devil himself or herself. Oh, terrified nightmare I had. That was, that was a terrified nightmare that I, I, I just wrote it down when I was married. It's, it's just nothing. But anyway, thank you for, uh, thank you for joining us with bookmarks and, um, we'll have another, uh, another book reading section next week. So please, uh, stay tuned and, um, and, um, thank you for the, for the likes and supports and, and all the lovely comments and, and, um, yeah, thank you. Have a good evening. Would, would anybody like some birthday cake? <laughs> Happy birthday, colostomy bag. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning into the show. I know it's been a while. Way overdue. It's been over a month, I know. And I apologize for that. Sometimes, you know, I mean, life goes up and down. Um, so there's a lot of distractions sometimes. Some days are great. Some days are a little stressful, you know. But um, I appreciate you guys hanging in there, and I will do my best to stay on top of it. And I'd like to thank um, a couple fans that actually, this is the first time this ever happened to me, which was pretty pretty incredible. I was uh, having dinner with Dad in Glendale uh, a couple weeks back. And we were at a restaurant called Mimi's that we've been to so many times before. I mean, we used to go there, you know, twice a month when we used to go visit my grandmother um, in the home. And it's also across the street from the world famous Sizzler where, you know, where dipshit said that we had to rub two nickels together to afford the salad bar that we all had to share. <laughs> anyway. This couple got up after they were done eating and they came over to the table where dad and I were eating and she tapped me on the shoulder and she looks over at me and she says, I love your show. I really, really love your show and I could watch your videos all day. And that, that, that was, that was very heartwarming. That really, really made my day. And then about what, a week after that, about a week after that, I was uh, coming back from San Diego and I stopped at uh, In-N-Out Burger because uh, a lot of the guys down here like In-N-Out Burger and I said I'd bring them back. So I was I was standing in line waiting, you know, waiting for my food to be ready. And this gal gets up from the table and she comes over to me and she says, I really love your show. And it was like the weirdest thing, like that's never happened before. And, and I, it was just, it really, really gave me a lot of inspiration, put a smile on my face and probably gave me the spark that I needed to get my ass in gear and start making more videos. So 
thank you guys. Uh, you, you know who you are. And um, uh, the one gal lives in uh, Playa's Tijuana down here. Um, I think her name was uh, Alyssa or Elisa or something like that. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, thank you guys. And for the rest of my supporters and my viewers and subscribers, thank you. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the show and I'll be back. Guaranteed. All right. Love you guys. Bye.